Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and I have a super duper quick tip video for you. And really, I'm just saying this because I hadn't thought of this until just recently and I just thought to myself, my goodness, how have I not thought of this before? Because this seems so obvious, um, but maybe it will help somebody else out there who has not thought of this yet. But what we're talking about is we're talking basically about safety with quadcopter and specifically you know when you connect your quadcopter to beta flight you know when the, when you plug in the flight controller to your computer and you're messing around with stuff you don't want to be in a situation where your quadcopter turns on the propeller starts spinning and things get chopped up and it would just be bad because these things will cut you they will cut you really good and there'll be blood everywhere if you're not careful so one of the big things you know how many times have you had to make some sort of adjustment in beta flight and you have to have your battery plugged in for some reason maybe a certain item won't get power unless it's unless your battery's plugged in uh, but you don't want to take off the, prope the propellers because you're just like ah eh, you know i mean i just put them on there and i got to take off all these these four nuts here and how big of a pain is that well that and that's the thing we get lazy and complacent and so we just leave the propellers on and most of the time nothing happens which is great but uh, we're really, you know, putting ourselves at extra risk when we do that. So um, it just occurred to me like, oh, how about I just have a way of keeping the propellers from spinning when the, when the battery's plugged in and I'm messing with stuff on Betaflight. And so, I, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you could do this, but I think one of the easiest ways would just be to take a piece of flexible, you know, a, a piece of wire, basically. This one's uh, coated in rubber. It's not particularly... Uh, strong or anything it's kind of like those gear tie things um, but this <clears throat> excuse me but this is a lot cheaper in fact this whole thing I got this is like a called like gardening wire or something floral support wire or something anyway I got this whole thing like a whole whole spool of this at the Dollar Tree for a dollar okay but so you just basically just uh, take like a six inch length and then just uh, wrap it you know around the, one of the propellers give it a couple twists and then your propeller is not going to go anywhere. And let's see. So the thing about the propellers is that um, if you get it, if it can get spinning fast, it'll get, it'll really get going. And especially towards the the uh, tip of the blade, that's really what's going to cut you if uh, if it catches you because it's spinning so fast. But the thing is, if you can actually keep it from spinning, um, there's there's not a lot of torque on these motors. So what's going to happen is if you even tried to turn this on like this. It's just gonna like maybe move a little bit, and then and then the the flight controller or whatever it is in there is gonna realize, oh, uh, the motor's not spinning. We should stop giving the motor juice. Just to show you here, the amount of time that it takes to do this could be very minimal, um, and just way less time than actually taking off the propellers completely. You know, um, and obviously sometimes. You, you're going to need to you know, spin your motors in beta flight, and in that case, you are going to have to take off your propellers because you need to actually spin your motors. But this is for a situation where you want to you know, have that extra safety, but you don't you know, want to have to take the time of taking off the propellers. And if you had to take off the propellers, you probably wouldn't take that extra safety step. So I'm pretty confident that uh, just having this would help a lot and again this is like this is just kind of a extra insurance but it could be something very helpful you could just take uh, you know these pieces of wires or you could maybe you could 3d print something something that just sort of clips around like the motor and the frame or something to keep everything from uh, moving and you could just keep them like right next to your computer or wherever you normally uh, have your quadcopter when you have it connected to Betaflight take a few seconds and you know, you have that extra little bit of safety. By the way, this is what this flexible wire tie looks like. It, it uh, came from the Dollar Tree and it was just a dollar. This is probably a seasonal item, so you won't be able to find it all the time. But, you know, if you can, I mean, it's it's uh, basically rubber coated wire. You use it for all kinds of different gear stuff. And it's 16 and a half feet for a dollar, which is pretty great. Uh, let me know what you think of this. I mean, is this does this seem kind of stupid or does it seem like uh, a good idea? Or do you even take your propellers off? And I guess that would be one uh, advantage of having the, uh, the pop-on, pop-off where you just pop your pr propellers on <clears throat> and take them off. That would definitely be 
great, but it seems like this for safety would be the next best thing. So uh, let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Uh, thanks for watching, subscribing, and all that. And I will see you again very soon.